Greetings fellow hunters, Fit of his back once again with another Let's Play, and my Let's Play today is going to be Torchlight 2. I own this on Steam. It's quite a fun little game. Let's get right into it. We're not going to be a female, we're going to be a male. And we're going to go ahead and be an Ember Mage, because Ember Mages are fun. But there are four classes in the uh, basic Torchlight 2. If you play with mods and you get mods, you can actually have uh, many more classes. But I'm going to go ahead and do the Ember Mage because I've done them a lot, so. I've played as an Ember Mage, so I know what I'm doing. Sort of. I think I'm going to try and go Frost, though. I think that looks pretty cool. We'll, of course, put in the name. Okay. And. We're going to go with a wolf, because wolves are cool. But not the name Percy, because that's not cool. No, not Kendall either. It's got to be a better name. Let's see. No, it's a terrible name. Mr. Kibbles, that's a terrible name too. Uh, well, you know what? No, I don't like Bowser either. One of the random names they gave was Danger. I think that works. Because he's a dangerous wolf. Always play it on normal. Don't play on casual. Casual is just too easy. It's to the point where it's just laughably easy. And normal's even pretty dang easy. Except for the bosses. The bosses, they can tend to be tough. I don't know what's wrong with this video, but I'm just going to skip it because... Deep. Deep. Yeah, the audio breaks. I, I don't know why it does that. The video itself doesn't, and I used to have it fixed, because uh, I found a fix online or something, and apparently now it just doesn't work anymore. So let's go grab our first quest. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight, and is headed their way. He may be there already. It's funny how his mouth doesn't move. Well, whatever. Anyway. You have a new quest. So now we have a quest. Why are there... Oh, those are dead creatures. It's kind of funny. Never realized them before. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, a buckler. That's useless because I'm a mage. So anyway, with the mage you can use the skill. Which, I forget what it's called. Magma Spear, that's what it's called. And you can, um... You can channel it like this. And it just does multiple hits. Can set our enemies on fire doing damage over time, which is nice. Your pet does help. Um, you can do melee attacks, but they're not very fast. Maps up here. And pretty much in the beginning, you don't have very much. Um, You don't have very much items, equipment, and whatnot. So if you pick up anything good, uh, the game will automatically equip it for you if you have auto equip on. And it just makes it a little easier in the very beginning. After a while, it won't really do it anymore because you'll already have something on and maybe you'll have to look all by yourself. But of course, you want to build your character the way you want to build it anyway. But it just kind of helps in the beginning, so you don't have to be going to your inventory screen all the time. Oops. Apparently there was a rock there. The gameplay is a whole lot like Diablo. Um, it's probably the more like Diablo 3 than any other Diablo. Because it really does remind me of Diablo 3. I actually do have that too, so if anybody wants to see that as a Let's Play, then uh, definitely let me know. I'm just looking for, you know, any kind of comments at all. Wait, are those... Wow. That is a lot of bad guys there. I don't think they're supposed to be there. Whoa. You have gained an experience. Well, of course I'm going to gain a level from that. Jeez, I'm just like a cluster of people there. Okay, so when you level, you get to... Uh, put some points in, just like in Diablo. Now in this game, you pretty much want to point, put points in everywhere, 
because you can see the block chance, armor bonus, uh, magic damage, execute chance. Execute chance isn't going to be very useful for me, but of course I want magic damage. Uh, there's critical chance, dodge, fumble, which is nice too, and then strength. So you pretty much want points everywhere. So I try to keep it even, pretty much. And I think we're going to go up Frost Mage, because I've never done that before. And... Hammer 5 ricocheting ice bolts to slow and immobilize your foes. Well, that sounds awesome. And then we'll just go ahead and take this and put it down here. And if you heard that, that was my phone. It's ridiculously loud. Go ahead and turn that down now. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Now, we'll close that. And if you hit the tab key, you can change between your active skills just like that. And then this is the new skill. Oh, that seems useful. Okay, cool. So let's get it going. And I'm going to try and make these videos um, just one area per video. It might end up getting the videos to be kind of long in the later areas because some of them take a little while to finish. I definitely remember. Wow, that is really interesting. And then you basically want to bring up strength, even if you are a mage, just in case they get close to you, like they were doing for me. See, there's a light tunic, as soon as I pick it up. Oh, maybe it didn't go on. Oh, no it did. I guess it just didn't change. Sometimes uh, your character will actually change when you equip stuff, but apparently not. Apparently not with that one. Wow, that was really easy. That enemy said he was armored, too. He didn't seem very armored. Also, you guys may notice this charge bar down here. This is the Ember Mage charge bar. And what it is, is when you, um, uh, whenever you hit with a spell or you hit with your staff, any any time that you do damage to an enemy, this charges up. If you can get it to the full, then you, I think what it is, is you get achieves total concentration. So for 12 seconds, your skills cost no mana and skill damage is increased. And the, what did I say? The decay period, or charge will decay after a period of inactivity. That's what it's doing right now, as it's de decaying. But pretty much you're not going to hit charge in the very beginning anyway, because these enemies are just way too easy. They're jokes. And then I think you can even get pieces of equipment that affect your charge, I think. We're just gonna... This is actually kind of nice. I do like this ice. And as you can tell, your um, your mana goes up slowly, but health does not unless you can get um, some kind of a... like a perk on your weapon or armor. Okay, so now we get a choice. There's 15 health armor. One to physical armor. Well, that would be stupid because mine's already two physical armor, so that's no problem. And that is a pet tag that you can put on your pet. But we're going to go ahead and get this uh, hood. I think it's going to be good. See? It auto equipped it. Okay, so we're good there. And it might get a little choppy over these fires. I don't know why, but I don't think my computer is the best computer in the world, so get a little choppy. And if it's not, if it's not like up to code for you guys, then please let me know and I'll just, you know, find something else to do. Because maybe this game is a little, a little ambitious. But then again, maybe not. It's not too bad. Jeez. And actually, that's kind of one of the problems with this ice bolt, is that it's not really a rapid rapid shot like the fire one was. You can't just hold it. I, mean, I guess you could, but it's not going to fire as fast. But it does cover a better area, so yeah, I suppose it's good. But it is kind of interesting, because I've never I've never went frost at all. I went thunder and fire. So, I'm going to go full frost and see what that's like. Oh, what's this? Oh, nifty. And that does... Oh, nifty. So it's a health over time kind of thing. And let's see. And basically I always put my pet on the defensive. That way when you take damage, the pet will try and help you. 
Also, another good thing about this is when you have a two-handed weapon, you automatically always have an area of effect damage in front of you. So it always swings in an arc. Which is kind of nice. I don't know if uh, Diablo 3 does that or not. I usually play ranged people, but even though this is ranged, you can still use your staff as you see me using it. Uh, so that looks like it just went back to that area. Let's go back up here real quick. And yeah, I know I leveled up. I'm just uh, looking around real quick. I don't think we went over here. Oh, we did. Okay. So this time I'm going to go ahead and put... I think I'm going to go ahead and put some more vitality in. Usually bring up everything by five, and I just keep with whatever's lowest, because you're going to need everything, period, for every class. It's basically, you want to focus with focus for him, of course. And then there's this passive, which your skill with stabs lowers the elemental resistance of enemies when you strike them. Oh, and it works for Ice Blast. Nice. Yeah, we'll do that. And since it's just a passive, then you don't have to uh, put it on your hotbar, of course, and I'm going to take these off because they're useless. Go away. No, I don't want to drink potion. Oh, there we go. That's right, you just click it. Because you don't need your potions. Right here, you might be able to see it says Z, and over here is X. So you can just push Z and X to use your potions. So you don't need potions on the hotbar. I have no idea why they put them there. Unless maybe that's the way it was in the beginning. And let me take a real quick look at the map. Just make sure... Good. Because I'm one of those guys that likes to do a full exploration. And that's the way you level up your character the best anyway. Seriously. Well, I mean, in, in my honest opinion. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's some box here. That's one thing I do wish that Diablo would have done. Uh, socketable item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is everything that's interactable, like the rocks and the sarcophaguses and whatnot, I wish they would have made it so that it was highlighted. So that you don't miss anything. But they didn't do that. Like the way when items drop, you can see what the name of the item is. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about these ice bolts is it's so random. See, like that, the dead vanquisher guard. That's just one of those things that you can click to acquire stuff, like a chest. And it treats it like it's loot, which is nice. I don't know why Diablo didn't do that. Ooh, look. Specs. Specs are like gems from Diablo. Oh, and then you can see this uh, weird little thing happening there. That is probably my passive, I'm guessing. The passive that I had to where you can, uh, when you hit an enemy with your staff, it does like a debuff or something on them. So I'm going to go to my inventory real quick. And as you can see, you got that, got that. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's nice. That's much better, so I'll just right click to equip that. As you can tell, it's 29 damage per second and ice damage as well. So. And average attack speed, nice. Instead of slow, like my other one. And let's see, there's light. Oh, that's just the same. And these are the Venom Ember specs I was talking about. If you put it in armor, it gives you poison. Uh, armor against poison, which you can see up here. These are your uh, elemental resistances. And then if you put it in a weapon, you get seven points of damage. So we can't put it in a weapon, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the shoot. And that's how you can tell if it's socketed. Those little circles. But, um, the game tells you you shouldn't really hold on to them. Which is true. You shouldn't really. I mean, they, they are just worthless. And they're just sitting there in your inventory. Um, okay. Well, that worked out well. Oh, look at that. Locked golden chest. Oh, it's locked. Damn it. Could have sworn I got the gold key already. I think it's right here. Sometimes those gold keys are really hard to find, but there it is right there, the gold key. Did that just say stupid fang or something? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Health potion. 
Okay, so now that we got the golden key, we can go open this golden chest. And there is one in, or so they say there's one in every single, um, on every single screen. But opening them is really kind of difficult sometimes. So, see, and this is a game where you can use everything. Like, this doesn't say that it's only melee class that can use it, it just requires level 4 and dexterity 14. Uh, let's see, this is going to be better. But see how it didn't equip this because I'm already equipped. But that sounds good. I'll take that. And, like, if you have empty slots, it will just automatically equip stuff for you. Except for this, because we're not supposed to be dual wielding anyway. Alright, so let's go. I have no idea what it was that I... Oh, it must have been that superior sweet blade. I thought it said stupid for some reason. Old. Dead dude. In some of the games you actually are some of the enemies you have to break their um, shield first before you can do any damage or before they block. What was that? Oh my mana's low. Whatever. Who cares? It can charge up that stuff anyway. But yeah, you can use mana potions too. I just I don't know how many I have because I took them off my hotbar. I can always just go like this. Potions. I've got like, what, is that three? Oh my god, that's terrible. I don't know why they didn't start a mage out with more mana potions. Light hood? Nice. Is that any good? Uh, yeah, that is good. Sweet. Alright. Go help this guy out. The thing I'm not getting used to about this ice bolt is that it ricochets. And it, it likes to ricochet so randomly, too. You would think it would just ricochet one way all the time, but when it hits a wall, it just kind of does whatever it wants to. State your business. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go here. And then since this is a new screen, which I think it's just the city. Oh, wait, no, I didn't think there's two screens. Nope, this is the city. Yeah, this is the city here, so we can go ahead and make this a little bit longer. Uh, the fishing hole is... Um, I used it a couple times. If you use it, you can change your pet into different um, monsters for a certain amount of time. It's not all that useful. Uh, there's the guy we need to talk to, but we're just going to look around real quick. And there's dashes... Blacksmith and this guy that wants to talk, but he's not going to do anything. As well as he. Because those are later. But we'll go ahead and turn in our quest, and then I'll uh, bring this video I to a close. Thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. This alchemist has already come and gone, and it was all I could do to prevent him from entering the enclave. As it was, many Estelians were injured. And, since the confrontation, several more have become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the alchemist carried on southward toward the temple steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Hmm. Alrighty then. And it still lets you know what you have equipped here. So you can see... Wow, that's, that's actually really good. Um, then there's wands, which are one-handed, and I think they're ranged, I think. But they're generally more, uh, less damage as well. Actually, that looks pretty good. And it's ice, too. Uh, 43... They're all 43 damage per second. That doesn't make any sense. But they're slow, and that's... Oh, that's very slow. That's even worse. So, 2 to fire damage, 2% fire damage, and 2 poison damage, and 1% to all damage. I think I'm going to go with this one. I know that one's socketed and all, but... Eh. I don't know. I like the 1% to all damage. That's actually pretty good. Commander Vale believes that the alchemist might attack the Wellspring Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. For what nefarious purpose, I am afraid to speculate. 
There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Scout the Wellspring Temple and determine if the Guardian of Water is in any danger. Yep, that's our new quest. I'll go ahead and accept that. You that activates a waypoint, and it also allows us to leave the city. Down here, you can also talk to this guy, which is... I think it's a subquest? What's see. your business here? Let's see, I could use your help. Yeah, see, he wants us to get armor schematics. So sure, that's a uh, subquest. So you anything green quest. is subquest. Uh, there's the waypoint portal, which works just the same as in Diablo. Um, before I... Uh, no. Alright, so I'll go ahead and uh, probably cut the video here. And what? if you ever want to see like what your buffs do and stuff, you can always see this. See the target dummy and then... Wait. Damn it, you can't... I don't think you can actually see what those buffs are, though. You're just gonna have to guess. Apparently we have extra buffs, though. And this is how fast we attack. Oh wait, that's not even the new one, never mind. Hold on. What about this ice wand? Which, uh, by the way, is a one-handed, so I could use a shield. Which, I might actually... Yeah. Why not? Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Yeah, see, it's a ranged weapon. So that you can actually attack from afar with a, um... Just a normal attack. Well, there we go. There's the charge meter. This is when you can just go nuts with your spells. See? Because it takes no MP. And it does lots of damage. While that meter's up. When it's gone like that, then you start using your MP again. That was actually pretty quick. Look at that charge go up. It's probably because it's this dummy. And I think it's supposed to make your charge go up so you can you can uh, see what it's like and whatnot. But it does kind of look like this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I know why stuff's not working. Yeah, it, it has to be a staff. Damn. Well, that sucks. Charge mastery. That's about the charge. Let's see. There's wand. Hmm. So we may not actually want a wand after all. Because the frost. No, let's see. No, no, no. That one. Because the frost mage wants stabs. And I'm going to go full frost, so. And you can see your experience down here. Your um, hot bar here. Active quests here. Um, let's see. Pet information is up here. And the interesting thing is you can actually send your pet to buy items and sell items for you so there is no having to go back to town like with Diablo and I'll probably get into that later but anyway guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the video off here and then I will do some selling so the next time I pick up I will have less items because I'm just gonna get rid of them so that we don't have to send our pet because whenever you're in town you might as well sell whatever you're not gonna use so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you did like it. Definitely comment, because I'm looking to see what you guys want to see. So, again, this is Vitivis. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.